almost doesn't feel like a Pixar film. It's clearly taking place in a different world, it looks. Also, did I mention it's not the human world, it's a mystical world. Could this be it? Does this mark the end? I can't even fathom the words to say it. Will this break the Pixar theory? The Pixar Theory. A few months ago I made a video about why it and other Pixar theories aren't as popular anymore. Today I'm making this, so I must be like one Pixar Theory debunked video away from getting added into the secret, but I know it exists. Pixar Theory Haters Club. Because I didn't want to be the one to say it, but it looks like they finally made the film that breaks the Pixar Theory. <laughs> what the Pixar theory is, let me quickly summarise. It's the idea that all the Pixar films take place in the same universe. Yeah, that's it. Can you imagine making a 26 minute video out of that? Or writing an entire book? It was created in 2013, the timeline starting with Brave and going on into the far future when humans evolve into monsters. It actually makes a lot more sense, but I'm not going to explain it any more than that, so if you haven't heard of it before, you've probably got to Go find an explanation. Good luck, because there aren't many out there. And while it's fun to play around with, Pixar never actually confirmed it, and I don't think anyone really believed they planned it from the start. I didn't, at least. I just genuinely love looking for easter eggs and creating connections, because Pixar, unlike most studios, do make an effort to throw characters into other films, and well, I find it interesting to try and think of a plausible reason for why that character would be in that place at that time, and that's how I built my channel off Pixar theories and looking for easter eggs, and a few Harry Potter videos here and there, and oh wow, has it really been seven months since I last got half a million views? I really need a big video, guys. Especially with every new film in addition to the universe, which up until now haven't been overly problematic. Most of them have been sequels, and the ones that haven't have just taken place in the present day on Earth, or have just been so far into the past that it doesn't change the theory at all. That was until Onward. Now, I've known about Onward for quite some time now. It was first announced at D23 in 2017 as an untitled quest movie set in a suburban fantasy world. And I won't lie, suburban fantasy world instantly rang alarm bells in my Pixar universe theorist brain. Because well, none of the other Pixar films take place in a suburban fantasy world. I mean, yeah, some had monsters, but there was always a connection to the human world in some way or another, with Boo being essential to the plot of Monsters, Inc., as well as the overarching Pixar theory. Onward, on the other hand, was confirmed to revolve around elves, trolls, unicorns, and mermaids, but most notably, no humans. Basically giving a good old to the Pixar universe. Like, upon reflection, since the average Pixar film takes five, six years to make, this would have started work around 2014 when the Pixar theory was at its peak. Was this made as a response to the Pixar theory? That would be so funny. I can imagine a board meeting where they're like, yeah, there's this theory going around saying all the Pixar films take place in one universe. We need to put an end to all of this. And one person's just like, yeah, we should make a statement saying it's false. And then another going, no, I think we should play along. It's good publicity. And then the final guy's saying, oh, we could make a film fully disproving it that will come out in about six years time. Bet you didn't see that twist coming. But yeah, I've been kind of sat on this video idea for a few years now, waiting for Pixar to release some more information to either benefit or ruin the Pixar theory forever. And that brings us to Thursday, where two first look images from the film were released, showing that this film will in fact be revolving around elfish creatures in a modern society with cars, electricity, books, umbrellas, sprays, I don't know. They live in mushroom houses. It's a suburban fantasy setting. I was really intrigued and excited about the film, so I shared the photos onto Twitter where people were instantly questioning how it fits into the Pixar theory. My kind of people, which could be you. You should go follow me now. I'll give you a few seconds. And honestly, there were some not that bad suggestions with most people, including YouTuber The Theorizer, pointing out it could be taking place during the monster's evolution, which, you know, they kind of do look like an in-between monster human. So yeah, not the worst idea. Others just suggesting this is taking place in a different dimension or on another planet. It is the Pixar universe after all, not the Pixar world, which, isn't ideal, but that's probably the way the theory is going to have to go if it wants to continue. For me, the whole idea of different films taking place on different planets, which could potentially be in different solar systems, just kind of defeated the point of it all. But the fact there was a debate to be had was a win for the Pixar theory at the end of the day. So I went to bed thinking all was right with the world until Pixar ruined it the next day when they released the poster. The poster revealed a city, a mountain range, a magical staff. Thing, but still a pretty earthly world until the moons. There were two moons. If all the other Pixar films theoretically take place on the same planet, we know for a fact that planet only has one moon because it's meant to be based on our Earth. They explain this in the very first film. 
the good dinosaur. Now this poster came with the knowledge that there was going to be a trailer later that day, so I thought I'd wait and see the trailer and see if they give us anything to work with. Maybe moons can multiply. I didn't pay that much attention in science class, and no, they, they can't. They, they can't multiply. And then the trailer came out. It's a different planet. Not only are the two moons shown during the trailer, but they also literally talk about the planet's past and how it was once beautiful and magical with unicorns and mermaids, which just doesn't fit with the past we know the Pixar universe had. I mean, people will probably find a way to fit and squeeze it in, but it clearly doesn't coexist in a universe with the likes of Toy Story, Monster Zinc, The Incredibles, Cars, and so on. Which I guess leaves us with a few questions. Is the Pixar theory truly dead? Should we stop making theories connecting Pixar films? Could Onward genuinely be Pixar's response to the Pixar theory after all these years? To which I answer, no, no, and probably not, but maybe. When it comes to the Pixar theory being dead, I don't think it is, nor do I ever think it will be. It'll always remain an important part of pop culture, meaning whether like the Super Carlin brothers try and fit this film into the Pixar theory or not, it not fitting in isn't the end of the world. I don't think anyone should or does overly take it that seriously. Like, I found the people who hate it take it more seriously than anyone who actually believes in it. For the rest of us, I always thought it was more of a game just to try and see how many connections you could make when trying to fit all the films into one world. Like, oh my god, why does Boo seem to have teleportation powers? Could she be a super and related to one of the supers in The Incredibles? That was a really good impression of myself. And I personally found the films more fun when I was trying to do that. People can completely disagree with that, but I'm not going to stop watching Pixar films as a theorist just because they've confirmed that all the films don't take place in the same universe. And I'm not alone in that. Because of the way Pixar fill the films with easter eggs and references, creating these unanswered or answerable questions. Six years on from the Pixar theory first coming out, we're still here discussing and dissecting every single one of their movies with a committed and interested audience. Which compare this to other animation studios, I haven't seen one person make a theory about Secret Life of Pets 2. Not one, I've checked. And the difference between these two studios isn't that Pixar's films are theorized to take place in one universe, it never has been. And for that reason, I don't think this changes anything. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. You can watch another video by clicking here. You can check out my merch here and in the description down below. Also, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I, I post on there too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.